Jesus, who pushed your go button? My life is exactly how I like it. Thank you very much. I have a fulfilling friends with benefits situation I have me with Frankie Rogers on my bowling league, so I get lots of better than average blue collar sex. <laughs> Angus, that's not something we should be teaching children. The hell it's not. Those kids are going to have to work the stock market someday, and they're going to be kissing Oscar's ass for teaching them that you can be annihilated for making one bad move. I don't know what kind of bus it is, all right? All right, fine. Let's recap. I'm crossing the street, and here comes some kind of bus which may or may not be going fast enough to hit me. Yes. Is it a double long bus with one of those accordion-type deals in the middle? They're called articulated buses. That for sure wouldn't matter. <laughs> oh, I beg to differ. The additional length creates a radically different turning radius, as well as a proportionally different braking ratio. Not to mention double-decker buses, which are the same length as regular buses, but they're twice as high as opposed to twice as long. The bus is a bus, Lane! <laughs> I think Rosa Parks would disagree. Now you're talking. It's <laughs> like crashes. <laughs> I was being facetious. I know. You always like that. Side note, it's not an attractive tone. <laughs> I think it's still a good direction for the story, though. We need to finish, and your other idea sucked. Holy fuck. <laughs> 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 you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know that saying about the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and getting the same result? Yeah. They were thinking of you. BT dubs, I was lying about your food. Your rice is stiff, your shrimp is limp, and I've seen better presentation on the box of an easy bake oven. Well, that's easy then. You get plowed over and nobody calls for help because your bake hypothetical has a shocking lack of detail. Case closed.